Hello and welcome back to another Mother Chillers video. Once again, I'm here answering all of your sadistic bug battle requests. And before we begin, if there are any requests, however weird it may be, make sure to leave them in the comments below. And whilst you're down there, leave a like and subscribe. Now, first up, we have Bakakan, or Bakachan, awesome name by the way, that wants a worker battle, that being 50 red worker ants, 50 black worker ants, and 50 termite workers. All right, so as you can see, there is 50 black ant workers, 50 regular red ant workers, and 50 termite workers, all living in harmony. Look how lovely that is. They're all getting along together. Look at all these different colors and the friendship they have together. So what I'm going to do to ruin this is I'm going to put an aphid in the middle and watch as they all turn on each other and viciously attack one another. They can't even get an attack on. I don't know what's going on here. There we go. Now they're starting to attack. The red eyes have lit up. Hopefully, there we go. They're starting to hit one another. The fighting is beginning. Now we just need the red ants to get in on it as well. You'll soon see. There we go. All the red eyes have lit up. All it took was a few aphids and a few mites and now the ball is well and truly rolling as they all pile in one by one. They're all going to start attacking each other. Jesus, this is just going to be a bloodbath. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> oh, I forgot the termites have that ranged attack there. Come on, the ones that are straggling on the outside, get involved. Get involved. Madness, absolute madness. Whoever suggested this, you're an absolute monster. I mean, it's an amazing idea, but you're a monster. I see a lot of dead red worker ants, quite a lot of dead red black worker ants, but the termites, there's not that many bodies, unless they don't stand out as much. But we're soon going to see who, who, who lasts anyway. Oh, they're fighting each other over here as well. Look, the black one's got in. He's going to start attacking. Attack! Attack! I mean, once the... Jesus Christ. <laughs> I almost hit the camera. Most of them are trying to escape, but they... Oh, what a shot. That was a hell of a shot. Fuck Jesus. These... The, <laughs> the termite workers have no chill whatsoever. As soon as they start, they do not stop. God, no mercy. No mercy whatsoever. And there we have it. Your answer. Your answer is... And I think it goes in this order. Termite workers at the top, because they have killed everything. Uh, so uh, the black worker ants just below it. And then... The red worker ants. Next up is unknown. He's not actually unknown. It's genuinely his name. It's, it's unknown. <laughs> but anyway, he wants me to pick up and stuff Mrs. Broodmother into the black ant hill. So we have taken a step out of the arena, although I'm pretty sure this fight would be fairly similar in the arena, to the black ants nest, where we have put the broodmother up against the black ants, unless it's because the black ants just keep coming in and fighting. But yeah, it's pretty much just black ant soldiers and black ant workers against a single broodmother in their den. In their den. Um, she's knocked quite a few of them out. I still reckon the broodmother's going to win this one, but but we'll try anyway. We'll try anyway. See what happens. You never know. Excuse me. Excuse me. Keep your ass away from my face, please. If I, I can't see one dead ant, actually, which is a good shout. There you go. He's in. He's in. He's joined the fight. Woo! And now this one's going. Where are you going? Where are you guys going? <laughs> what are you doing? Come back! <laughs> oh, they're going off the top ropes. There we go. <laughs> to be fair, this is probably the biggest area that I could find to do this in. The rest is just really narrow tunnels. So, this is the this is the best you could get. You cannot complain, Broodmother. You cannot complain. The Broodmother is almost dead. She is almost dead. Wow. Wow. She hasn't got long left. She's almost dead. Come on, lads, attack her. Get her out of your home. Get her out of your home. Mate, get down. What are you doing up there? You, you're no help to anyone up there. We don't want moral support. We want men to attack. There, they killed her. Don't worry, you can stay up there now. They've killed her. They've killed her. You're not needed. You're not needed. There we go. So in their own terrain, in their own their own little little lair, the black ants were victorious. They killed the broodmother. On the topic of ant hills, a request I was skeptical about is from Rude Nonsense that has asked for 50 black ant eggs to be spawned inside of the red ant hill. So let's see how that plays out. Right. So if Rude Nonsense, I am in the red ant hill. I have no clue what is going to happen. I'm going to go into the depths where there's quite a lot of them sleeping and lie down. So I've spawned in 50. Although that doesn't look like 50, it is 50 because if I take one like that there is still more there they are just all spawned in on top of each other again i'm not sure what is actually happening i'm not sure if you're waiting for them to hatch and completely ruin the red the red ants but uh i'm not sure so i'm going to turn the game speed back on and see what happens all right there that's what happens right they have all started to spawn now oh my god so there's 50 you monster rude nonsense you're a monster you've ruined their home 
Oh god, and the lights are about to go out. Oh jeez, this is even worse. That's even scarier when the lights go out. <laughs> Christ. <laughs> Look at it. This is carnage. It's sabotage. Sabotage at the highest degree. You animal. <laughs> I kind of I kind of guessed this was gonna happen as I was doing it. And to be honest, it's quite funny. <laughs> yeah, this is just pure annihilation at this point. I don't think the red the red ants stand a chance. It's just a ticking time bomb, pretty much, because if, if I hadn't set the, the game speed to, like, times 50, <laughs> this would have just gone on for ages and ages and ages. <laughs> uh, by far, by far, that is one of, one of the best requests. I sort of expected it, but I didn't actually think it would happen. Congratulations, Rude Nonsense, on that, on that one. That was a good one. This is no longer the Red Ant Hill. This is now another Black Ant Hill. So, um, congratulations, lads. Enjoy your new home. I hope it suits you well. It suited the other ants just as just as well. But, you know, whatever. Now they're going out. They're going to continue the fight. They're continuing the fight outside. They're taking it. They're taking it outside. Oh, God. I thought it was over, but it's not. Have mercy. You just destroyed their families and their kids. No! <laughs> That's it. Run away. Run away. Run away. This is no longer your home. This is the black ant's home. There you go. Look at that. Look at that. And off they go. Off they go. Ruben Oglesby wants to see Koi Boy up against the assistant manager, but not just one assistant manager. Oh no, 10 assistant managers with lasers. Will this put a stop to the fish? No, it won't, but let's see anyway. <laughs> Starting to attack each other. Uh, as you can see, I've had to spawn in a, a character, survival character there just to get him to aggro a little bit. But now that the attack's going for the fish, once the fish starts attacking them like this, there we go, they will begin to attack the fish as well. Here we go, now the lasers are coming in. Lasers aren't really... Oh, they are hitting him a little bit. I don't think, again, he <laughs> it doesn't do any damage to him. So he's completely unfazed by this. God, that was like a collective laser attack. But the fish is still standing. Uh, he's killed a couple more of them, or he ate two of them. Two of them are now disappeared. More lasers. More lasers. Yes. Yes. I mean, if they do manage to kill the fish, fair play. But he's just one by one taking them all out. There's only two left now. Uh, one just completely destroyed and sank under the map there. Not sure what happened to him. Uh, one remains. One remains. And he killed him. Fish killed him. The lasers aren't affecting him. And the fish looks as healthy and as happy as ever. Fish is victorious again. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. And a little chubby cutie patootie super fan has sent in a fat little request. So thanks to Monty Fat Who 97 for this one. Hoops with only fists versus two brood mothers. So um, as you can see in front of me, there are two two vicious, very large brood mothers. Um, I am I am Hoops in this recreation of this this commenter's request uh so what's going to happen now is i'm going to walk walk towards the brood mothers and uh fight them with my fist just to see what happens and uh here we go Now on to Akirus or Akirus, Akirus Gaming asking for a battle of soldiers, that being 25 soldier ants, red or black versus 15 termite soldiers. A lot of the red ants are knocked out already. I still I still think even though there's 10 there's 10 more red red soldiers, I still reckon the termites will win because they are very, very tanky. Yeah, there you go. They are absolutely destroying them. Destroying them. And they're dead. There you go. That was easy. Very easy. Just to just to lengthen it a little bit more, I will try it with 25 black soldier ants, and I will keep these 15 termites because I don't think they've lost any health. 25 black soldier ants and 15 termite soldiers. Again, I still imagine the outcome is going to be the same. The termites are going to win, and if they do, it just goes to show how strong they are because they haven't spawned in new ones. This is the exact same as the last time, and they have taken on 30 soldier ants. Ah, uh, oh, I don't know how this is going to go. This is going down. This is going down to the line. Woo! Woo! Come on, there's about an even amount left. Fair play to the termites. They're, they're still going strong. Come on, the two left. Two left. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. No, come on. Come on, please. Take on them two. Come on. 
No! No, he was so close! He was so close! There's only one black soldier ant left! I mean, although the blacks the black soldier ants won this one, I'm gonna give it to the termites because they took on they took on fifty ants when there's only fifteen. So fair play, but there you go, there is your outcome. There is your outcome. Now, Shadow Strike had an idea. He took his idea and he posted it in our comments. Good job, Shadow Strike. Everyone be like Shadow Strike. Two requests. First is 15 wolf spiders versus 50 red soldier ants, followed by another match between 25 orb weavers and 25 red soldier ants. 15 against 50. I still reckon the, the um, wolf spiders are going to win. The, some of them have like glitched out of the map with their jumping. Um, hopefully they come back down at some point. <laughs> I can't really see what's going on. I can see some wolf spiders dying. Uh, I can see a lot of wolf spiders dying, actually. Uh, because these two don't seem to be coming down, I'm going to spawn in two more quickly. But that one's that one's dead. I mean, I feel like they're going to have the same fate as these other guys. Oh, he came down! He came down! <laughs> Wrong choice! <laughs> really, really bad choice to come down now. How long will he last? I can't really see what's going on with the dead spider carcasses. Just watch. There we go, he's dead. You watch as your friend dies. And because you, you're a coward and you won't come down, I'm going to spawn another one. You can watch him die too. He looks so sad. Oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah, he's dead. I didn't expect that to be honest. I was thinking the wolf spiders were going to win. But no, the soldier ants. The soldier ants won in the end. All right, so the soldier ants are in. They're going straight for the orb weavers. I feel like the soldier ants might be a little bit outnumbered here. But we're going to see how it goes anyway. So they've got the webs as well. They've knocked a few out. The soldier ants will kill a few. They have killed a few. They've killed a lot, actually. But at the end, I, I, I just can't see the... Right, as, I, as I'm saying this, I can see Orb Weavers just constantly dying. So I'm going to just stop talking and wait. Because I thought the Orb Weavers were going to win this, but clearly not. So they've got one there in a the corner. The last stand, he's dead. And the remaining one is there. And he has died as well. So to clarify, the soldier ants are really, really tanky and should not be messed with because they kill wolf spiders and they kill orb weavers and they are a unit. And finally, we'll finish with a classic little battle sent in by Tech Rax, ACI or Akai, Aki, between two stink bugs, 20 soldier ants and four bombardier beetles. Right, they've started attacking. The gas is in, which is going to be lethal in this fight because it does such a wide range of damage to literally everything. I can't see anyone but the stink bugs. Actually, no, I keep saying that. I'm not going to say that anymore because the ants always seem to prevail, even though they are dying in, in numbers to the stink bugs. Uh, a lot of them are dead already. One stink bug's down. If they get the other one, they should be okay if they can manage to take him out just to stop the gas, gas attack coming in. They've got him. They've got him. Right, so there's no more gas. The stink bugs are out. They just need to finish off this bomb. But oh, they killed him. They killed him, right. There we go again. See, there was me. I was going to say the stink bugs would win, but again, the ants have come forward. The ants have taken the lead and they have won again. So thank you, Tech Rax, ACI or Akai, Aki, for that one. That was a nice little fight. Nice little fight.